that's how you feel. And I felt this right feel. from the very beginning. Very beginning. Like, this is no change. This is exactly how I felt when I began my time living here. It has not changed. I swear to God, to you, right here, right now, it has never changed. My worry was living with him was going to be about his love. Hey. Living with you and him has become the worst nightmare in my life. You guys clearly only care about yourselves, which is very apparent. You guys think you own every single person's life that you ever encounter, which is absolutely untrue. And the third thing is... It's a bit of a stretch. No, it's true. It's true. You think you own this house and you think you can do whatever the fuck you want. Ryan no, I don't. I want other people to take ownership to over it, too. Whatever he wants. And if that's the case, I don't want to work here. If that's what you want, if that's a glorious foundation you know that he wants to, fucking get fucking stay ass in the night to build with you guys. I'm not here to work that way. I'm here to pay my rent, mind my own fucking business, and have zero interest in your guys' life. Whether it's my boyfriend's or not. Don't interfere in my life. Don't fucking interfere in my life. All I want to do is wake up, do what I need to do, and go to bed. That's yeah. all I care about. That's all I ask for, too. Yet, everybody else's problems is my problem. When the fucking air filter goes wrong, when this goes wrong, when that goes wrong, now it's my problem. It's my problem. Because you don't want to deal with it, I don't want to deal with it, but then yet I'm still having to be like, well... If it's not dealt with with him, then I have to deal with it. So what do I do now? Have you, when was the last time you cleaned the gutters? Replaced the toilet? Replaced the garbage disposal? Fucking it was in my toilet. Did the work on and the fucking And if you ask me to do, clean the gutters, guess what? I fucking would. Because that's how much of a commitment I am to every... As, Landscaping in the backyard. I mean, come on. Like, if you want to start picking apart... When was the, details, the last thing you asked me to do that reasonable. I didn't do? I don't ask you for shit anymore. Because I do it. I fucking do it. Oh, the carpets are dirty. Do it. Oh, the couch is dirty. I do it. You don't have to ask. It's pure respect. You don't even need to even fuck to me on the idea that I that you need to ask. I just fucking do it. Alright. Look, whatever you want to do. I'm just that makes tired of maintaining a house that I don't care about. I don't care about. If this fucking shit sunk in the ocean, I'd be like, cool. Absolutely no shit in it. Alright, look, if that's how you feel. I don't care about the stuff. I don't want to live here. I don't want anything to do with it. I don't want any aspect to it. I don't want any responsibility. But yeah, I still fucking take all this responsibility I don't care about. Okay. He'll live with my boyfriend. He doesn't give a fuck if I live there either. He's like, oh, you're miserable? Good. Like, this is what we talked about. Kind of doubt that's what he said, but... No, he's like, well, if you need a change, we need a change. Clearly, we need a fucking change. Like, I don't want to be responsible of everyone else's bullshit. I don't want to be responsible of a house that I don't own, nor ever going to own, nor... I've rented for years. Don't get me wrong. And I've taken every responsibility of every house that I've rented. I've fixed the garbage disposal when they went out. I ref- I fixed the filters and the air filters when they went out. I'm fucking over it. And I don't care about this house in this, like, at all. Like, I don't want to care about anybody's house except for the one I own. If I want and I'm ready to own my own house. Okay, then go get one. Yeah, exactly. I'm literally waiting on Brian to be able to either financially help me or if he doesn't financially help me I get my own and he doesn't he's not involved whatsoever. Alright, whatever. So, if that's what you want to do. Yeah, no, this is this is what it what it's gone down. What I, I don't really know what more you gotta tell him. Well within the next two months this house with this room is gonna be vacant or it's gonna be Brian. Yeah, like I said, that's fine. We just need to prepare for it. Yeah. Nonetheless, if whatever, whatever, right here, good for you guys. Whatever makes you good for you guys. Whatever makes you happy, I completely support you in it. Go pursue it. Do yeah. it. I'm, I'm not happy. Yet. I don't want to work here. 
this whole shot. Because he's really full. He doesn't have to worry about it. But, on thing. Either way, way go do your thing. House. I don't want to do be here. Thing. I don't need this big of a house. Never been desirable. If I lived in a, a place as big as my room, I would be content. Um, I don't want anything I'm, bigger. I don't want anything more glorious. I don't give a fuck if I have a living room. I don't care if I have a backyard. Those things do not matter to me. This whole house does not matter to me. This is not glorious to me. This is absolute imperfection this to me. It's not supposed to be glorious, so it's just an opportunity for us to rent a place. Exactly, because Brian thought it was a great idea for me to move in. And I straight up told him, why the fuck is this a glorious idea for me to move in while I live with your friends while you're gone? This makes me think of you. It wasn't his friends. It was just me in the back room and your dad. And Devin was yeah. your friend. When Devin so was it was here, more your friends than great. anybody. When Devin was here, everything was fucking great. Because one, he didn't mind my business. He didn't care if I 